The Polestar 1 was an important vehicle in its own right. Even though it was a six-figure, limited production sports car, it helped introduce us to the brand. Now the Polestar 2 obviously is way more important as a mass market, more affordable electric sedan. But this car right here, the Polestar 3, could actually be the number one in terms of overall appeal. But before we dive into the Polestar 3, make sure to subscribe to the Moto1.com YouTube channel to see even more videos like this and follow us on social media at Moto1.com. So from the moment you look at this car, you can tell that it's a Polestar product. It carries over the same design language from the Polestar 2, including these dual blade headlights right here and this five-sided grille, which is actually a smart zone that hides a lot of the radar systems for the adaptive cruise control and the many safety systems on this car. Beyond the obvious familial cues on the front end, you also get 21 and 22 inch wheels, depending on how you spec it, as well as a light bar in the rear that is very similar to the Polestar 2. But the Polestar 3 also draws a lot of cues from the very lovely precept concept, with some of those smoother, sleeker elements from the sports car found throughout the design. And that smart design gives it an overall drag coefficient of 0.29. What's interesting about the Polestar 3 is that it's actually way bigger than the Polestar 2. While that car is very much a compact, this is more of a mid-sizer, meaning it'll compete with alternatives like the BMW iX and the Audi e-tron, and actually it's 192 inches long total, which puts it about as big as those two. Obviously, that newfound size means there needs to be a lot of extra power to go with it, and thankfully there is. Two electric motors and a 111 kilowatt hour battery pack power the Polestar 3. That gives it 489 horsepower and 620 pound feet. That is a bit less than what you get in some of the alternatives out of the box, but with the $6,000 performance pack, you'll bump those numbers to 517 horsepower and 671 pound feet. Polestar says the 3 will be able to hit 60 miles per hour in 4.9 seconds or 4.6 seconds with the performance pack. Once you get inside the Polestar 3, it's obvious that this is very much a luxury SUV. On this model, you get very nice leather on the seats and center console, high quality aluminum finishes, and some matte wood trim on the dash. Plus, you get this massive 14.5 inch vertical touchscreen right here on the center console. Projected onto that 14.5 inch screen is the latest version of Polestar's Google Automotive Operating System. The same one we like so much in the Polestar 2, only updated here. It has built-in Google Maps, Google Voice Assistant, over-the-air features, and a lot more. Now, let's talk about the important stuff, range and charging. Polestar says the 3 SUV will be able to achieve about 300 miles of EPA estimated range in the US with a maximum charging rate of 250 kilowatts on a DC fast charger, thanks to its 400 volt architecture. A mechanical heat pump comes standard, which will help maximize range and help precondition the battery. Plus, the Polestar 3 even comes with bi-directional charging. You're probably wondering at this point, how much is the Polestar 3 gonna cost me? Well, this version, the dual motor long range, starts at 83,990 which makes it competitive with the BMW iX and the Tesla Model X, among others. Of course, Polestar does say that there are more models coming in the future, so hopefully that price point will be pushed down a little bit at a later date. Deliveries for the Polestar 3 begin late next year, which means you will have to wait a little bit if you want one, but if the one and two are any indication, this car should be an absolute hit.